So uh, the analyst, you got Channing Crowder, Jay Cutler, mm-hmm. Chad Ochocinco, and Chris Long. Yep. Do you have an issue with any of these guys when you played? Uh, I don't think anybody ever liked Jay. So I don't really know if that's a specific question for me. It's freaking Jay Cutler. Wait, why, Jay Cutler well, no, no, why, why is it nobody <laughs> likes Jay Cutler? You know, Jay Cutler had this, uh, you know, I know you just talked about your podcast that you had to cut up. So let me choose my words wisely. Jay Cutler just had this effort demeanor. It was about whatever team he was playing on and no one else. And I think that's always different for a quarterback because a lot of times quarterbacks try to get along with the other teams and quarterbacks don't really talk a lot of trash or have certain personas because they know they're the hunted inside the pocket and Jay didn't care about that. And so when you ran up on a quarterback who had a sort of defensive demeanor about himself, this me against the world thing, it's kind of off-putting and you want to go at that dude. You want to get at him. And the way that he answered questions, sort of this quiet arrogance he had, I don't think it was something that many of us defensive players love. And so we've had rehearsal already and I was very aware of that. I, I, I felt that feeling. But once he sat down, man, started to spit his knowledge, tell his stories from his perspective. You know, you just saw how good he could be at the job. And it's good to have somebody on the panel who has sort of that demeanor to bring that side to the show. But how many quarterbacks did you encounter who had that attitude that if you, you know, came up on them, they were going to, they were going to say something back. They were going to engage with you. Jay Cutler is not the only guy to do that. Well, Philip Rivers did it, but Philip Rivers did it in an entirely different way. You know, we're talking about a man with 27 kids, right, Dan? So you're, so you're going to need to let some things out when you get on the football field. But Phil was the guy that talked. Tom was always super cool. Peyton Manning, always extremely nice. Like, those dudes just wanted to go out and beat the brakes off you when it came to the field, but they weren't the type to talk. They weren't the type that, that came at you. Jay, Jay Cutler actually ran over a teammate of mine when he played for Chicago, a guy named Robert Golden, and we never let him live it down. And it was so funny. I brought it up to Jay when I saw him. He was like, man, you know, now looking back on it, I actually feel bad. He's like, I know what it is for a, a DB to get ran over by a quarterback. But now nah, Jay's super cool, man. I'm excited to work with him. Uh, Ocho is always Ocho. He already tried to buy the entire crew McDonald's the last time. Uh, that we were together, Channing's going to say whatever. And I mean, Chris just has a legacy and a lineage in this league, both on the field and off, that we're excited to tap into as well. 